Hello, security pros. Good afternoon. And thank you for joining us on today's ESA webinar, Complete Multifamily Apartment Access and Security Solutions. With the growing population demand of cities, analysts estimate that 4.6 million apartment units need to be built across the United States alone. Managing visitors can access for hundreds of people in an apartment or condo can be simplified by using a unified ICT solution. Today, ICT will demonstrate the power of a truly unified solution for access control, intruder detection, entry management, elevator control, and surveillance. Protege is a powerful platform capable of scaling from a multi-tenant apartment right through to a multi-tower condominium. With third-party integrations available, Protege is all you need to offer an unparalleled experience to building occupants, visitors, and building management. I'm Daniela Chavez, ESA's Marketing and Communication Specialist, and I'm excited to lead this webinar today. So before we dive in, I'd like to provide some tips for those of you joining us on your first ESA webinar. Welcome. You will be muted for the duration of this session, but that doesn't mean we don't want to hear from you. If a question or comment comes to mind at any point during today's session, click the Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen and I'll ensure that we save some time for your questions with our experts today. We'll also be recording this webinar so you can re-watch the on-demand session and share it with your colleagues. Tomorrow, you'll receive an email thanking you for your attendance today with a link to the recording. If your company is a member of ESA, we thank you and we hope you're utilizing your benefits to save, expand your team, and get connected to the ESA community. If you're not yet a member of the Electronic Security Association, check us out. ESA is the largest and longest standing association serving the pro-installed electronic security and life safety industry. Our members are integrators, dealers, monitoring centers, and even manufacturers and service providers in the space. You'd be surprised at the power an ESA membership holds for your company. Get a feel for all of the ESA benefits, including savings on business insurance, training, customized in-house boarding, and professional development programs, as well as peer networking groups, government advocacy programs, certifications that satisfy state li licensing, and in some cases are also alternatives to NYSET at esaweb.org. One of our membership specialists would be happy to walk you through these benefits and the application process. We at ESA realize your time is valuable, and we appreciate you spending some of that time with us today. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Scott Black. Scott is a regional sales manager for integrated control technology. Scott brings over 27 years of sales experience from technical, industrial, security, and healthcare environments. He and his wife, Melissa, both are graduates of Clemson University and their son, Austin, lives in Georgia. In his spare time, he enjoys music festivals, boating, traveling, and spending time with family. So without further ado, Scott, please take it away. All right. Can you hear me and see the PowerPoint there? Awesome. Yes, we can definitely see you and hear you. Um, all right. So Scott, uh, take it away for our participants. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. But um, I'm uh, Scott Black with Integrated Control Technology. Uh, we are an access control, intrusion, and building automation company based out of New Zealand. This is our uh, uh, factory in New Zealand where we manufacture all of our hardware. We also have offices in Auckland. Well, that's our headquarters. Uh, Denver, which is our U.S. headquarters, Toronto, and Melbourne, Australia. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about GX. <coughs> GX is our enterprise solution. It is a total unified solution uh, built for the end user. This shows the architecture of GX. Uh, basically, we do everything with DINRAIL hardware, and that allows us to uh, wire everything RS-45, giving us a 256-bit encrypted uh, network. The way we uh, kind of set everything up is uh, by utilizing status pages. So if you had a multi-tenant property, you could create all, all of your buildings on the status page and have all your doors, lights, if you have it tied in with your automation, uh, lockdown status is all on one screen. Uh, you could also have multi-building locations. So you could have a status page for each different building if you like, and then drill down into that location. Uh, you can also integrate uh, cameras to the system. Uh, that way you get a 30 second glimpse of what happened when somebody came through a gate or a door 
So if somebody ran through your gate, you could uh, go and find out you know, who went through it and have proof of that. And then you could uh, get the timestamp from your VMS and tie that into a whole story that you may need to send to the police. Uh, we can also bring in environmentals from uh, humidity sensors, temperature sensors, as well as uh, power requirements as well. Um, this is just another sample of status pages that gives you uh, very quick information uh, for tenants. You could have different events color coded. Uh, so maybe if you're at a security desk, you're only associated or you're only worried about maybe red events. Uh, the other thing this page does, if you see the little camera icon, uh, if you right click that, that means that there's video associated with that status. And so that event has a camera uh, event with it. It'll play back a 30 second uh, slider of the video. Also gives you a real time view of the video. And then also will give you a, uh, a five second loop of um, that event happening. Um, GX is very heavy in reporting. You can create customized automated reports uh, tailored to your needs. Uh, they're very easy to create uh, and you can filter everything within our system. So basically if I'm looking for a certain user or a door, I could pull that door, drag and drop it into the top uh, of the list to the corner there. And that's gonna give me uh, automatic filtering. And then it will show all my doors where I can kind of investigate what I need to find. And then I can print that in uh, many different formats. Uh, the one thing about GX, uh, we have a lot of different integrations. We really haven't had to tell anyone no when it comes to uh, integrating our product with other products. Uh, a lot of it is a wireless uh, online and offline locking solutions. This is really big in the multifamily sector. Um, we can use one credential, a key tag or a card to get through uh, as an Abloy lock or a Perio lock, uh, you know, Schlage, uh, and that way they'll have one credential that gets them through the entire building from start to finish. First of the year, we will have that capability to do that with Bluetooth. So we're very excited about that. And more of that will be uh, released uh, in January. Uh, this just shows how Salto, uh, we can integrate with the ship interface. So basically our GX server will talk to the Salto server and then um, bring all their online logs or offline logs into our system so we can manage those as if we were part of GX. And that just shows you a picture of some of the different Salto uh, applications with uh, mortise locks, um, the little uh, deadbolt locks if you choose to use the little uh, Neo and uh, also cylindrical locks as well. Uh, Aperio is another one that we integrate with. Uh, kind of the same as uh, Salto, but instead of having to have the Salto ship server running, we can just tie into a Aperio hub and our controller will uh, transfer that information via RS-45 uh, to the wireless locks that Aperio has. And that just shows an example of a couple of different uh, Aperio locks that are available. And then a Legion. Kind of the same thing, we use the uh, Allegiant PIMs, which are their nodes, to transfer information from our controller to the Allegiant locks. So we can truly have one solution that goes from a uh, door all the way through their property and manage it with GX. Uh, we also tie in with about 14 different video manufacturers. Uh, the VMS, all the VMSs are loaded into GX. And so you basically uh, purchase a camera license and then it will bring in that video of that VMS to uh, GX for that 30 minute clip of somebody coming through the gate or the storage area. And I always say, if you're gonna use video, um, just contact us and make sure that the camera manufacturer hasn't updated their uh, VMS to make sure the versions are working with our, our version of software. Uh, Talk a little bit about our readers. Our readers are, uh, built by, uh, manufactured by ourselves. They are 256 bit encrypted, wired OSDP or they're wired RS-45. You can also wire Wigan, but if you wire Wigan, you're not gonna have any encryption whatsoever. And you can get these in a combination of Bluetooth, NFC, uh, MyFair, DeskFire, or 125 prox, which uh, we don't really do too much 125 prox anymore. 
Uh, you also get a mobile uh, solution with our, your phone. Our app is free of charge. Uh, this can be set up to, let's say if you have uh, tenants, you may wanna give the tenant the gate, uh, maybe the gym, maybe their apartment on the app. And then that way every user has a different uh, you know, app for that, uh, that, I guess, complex. Also, if you're using mobile solutions, our Bluetooth credential lives with inside the app. So if you lose your phone, you just download the app again, and now your Bluetooth credential will be in that app. This is great for guest access. Also, if you're using our um, video call boxes, it will make a FaceTime call into uh, the app. And so you answer your phone like you would a FaceTime call. And then we'll ask you if you want to unlock or lock the door for them or uh, open the gate. Uh, this just shows a little bit about the mobile control and mobile access with our app. And then the intercoms, um, we have a 17 inch entry station. Um, that entry station allows you to, your tenants to access, uh, I guess their guests when they make the phone call. There is a tenancy portal with that. And basically that Tennessee portal automatically uploads all the information from GX into the uh, entry station and allows those phone calls to be routed. And this is just shows you a picture of one at an apartment complex. Uh, we also have wireless transmitters. Uh, if you wanna use a little uh, keychain type transmitters, we can use those for long range of opening gates. They also have a credential on the back. And since our access control system also has intrusion built in, you could have an intrusion uh, alarm built in as well uh, in case of an emergency or you know whatever you need to correspond with that. A couple of custom integration tools we have. One is SOAP service. SOAP is basically a web application that allows you to automatically do anything uh, via web as if you were sitting in front of the computer with a keyboard and mouse. Um, a little example of that, uh, we have a gym over in Australia. They uh, rent out their racquetball courts. So they use SOAP to do, develop a web client where they go online, they log in, they um, once they like pay with their credit card and reserve their racquetball court, it automatically puts them into GX. So when they get to uh, the site, they just type in their four digit code that's on their receipt the door unlocks, they go play racquetball with about 45 minutes left in their, I mean, I'm sorry, 15 minutes left in their session. The lights will blink. That lets them know that they have about 15 minutes left. And then uh, once uh, their time is up, the lights will dim for about three minutes, uh, allows them to collect all their belongings. And then uh, lights turn off and they're out the door and the door locks back up. So this can be used in many different situations where you're trying to reserve different types of room, but you don't want to have somebody physically uh, typing someone into the uh, computer. Data sync allows us to interact with third-party software. So basically if we have, let's say Yardi, which is a tenant, tenancy software, we can uh, enter the person into our Yardi and then data sync will take a CSV file from Yardi and uh, put it right into GX. That allows us to uh, not have to do dual and triple entry into other systems. When that person's taken out of uh, Yardi, data sync will see that and also remove the uh, you know, the credentials from that person uh, once their lease is up. Uh, and then we also have different automation and control protocols. Our system will speak BACnet into other um, automation and management systems, as well as control relays for lighting and, uh, you know, things of that nature. And that's kind of all I have uh, as far as the multifamily side. Uh, we'll get into question and answers right now if you'd like. All right, awesome. Thank you so much, Scott. Um, so yeah, I have a, there are a couple questions that we can go ahead and answer. Um, so the first one is, does ICT have software support agreements? Uh, we do not. Uh, once you purchase our software, we allow the integrators to upgrade the firmware and software for the life of the product. Awesome. Um, and then the second question we have is, does ICT have end-to-end -end solutions using Bluetooth credentials? Uh, yes, uh, first of the year, you'll be able to uh, control a deadbolt lock uh, with our Bluetooth credential. 
as well as uh, go through other hardwired doors throughout the property. Awesome. Um, and then next question we have is, can you deploy our system cloud? Uh, yes, uh, we allow the integrate or we allow the end user to uh, choose cloud on premise, off premise. Um, we can allow them to decide where they want to put their uh, software. Okay. Um, and then do you guys have product and inventory? Yes, we do. We uh, keep about seven months of product on, on hand in Denver. And since we manufacture all of our own products, uh, we haven't had any backlogs. Great, awesome. And then the last question we have is, is the system encrypted? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we encrypt everything if you wire it RS-45, 256 bit. And then if it's wired OSDP, it's only 128 uh, bit encryption. Awesome. And then we do have another Q&A question and it is GX tenant size. What's the minimum slash max tenant? Uh, we can go from one door to pretty much infinity uh, with GX. Our largest site right now in the United States is 2,500 doors. And so uh, we stop charging door license fees at a thousand doors. So once the customer reaches a thousand doors, they can add as many doors and locations as they want. Awesome. Um, all right, well, those are the only questions we have so far. Um, we do have a little bit of time left, Scott. So if there's anything else that you maybe would like to elaborate on or discuss a little bit more on while we have a little bit of extra time, um, if not, we can definitely close out, but um, the floor is yours. Yeah, um, just uh, you know, if anybody has any questions uh, or needs more information, our website, www.ict.co has a lot of information. Uh, regarding multifamily. There's also some videos under the, uh, the uh, I think it's under the uh, training area that uh, they can access that shows how our Tennessee portal works with the entry stations and some other videos as far as setting up users and uh, how you interact with the software. Awesome, all right. Um, let me see one question. We, we do have another question. It is, what is the difference between GX and WX? So uh, GX is our enterprise solution. Uh, GX uh, does have software that you have to uh, deploy. Uh, WX is a single building solution with no software to deploy and no fees. Uh, if you wanna have multiple uh, sites under WX, then you would have to go to a cloud fee, which uh, we call X. And that allows you to link multiple WX sites together and manage them under one pane of glass. Awesome. That is really good to know. Um, let me see, um, no other questions so far. And I did put in the chat uh, the ICT website. Um, so our participants uh, can go check that out as well. Okay. Awesome. Well, is there anything else that you would like to add, Scott? No, um, I guess if you're having any issues with, uh, you know, uh, attaining product or readers, uh, like I said, we do have stock, uh, so uh, we don't have any backlogs, which is nice. And uh, we, you know, we try to make ourselves easy to work with. So just reach out if you have any projects that you need help with, and we'll be happy to help you design them or uh, give you a bit of materials, whatever you may need. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Scott. Um, and thank you to all the attendees today as well for the webinar. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, uh, one yeah. sec. Okay, never mind. I thought we had another question, but that is all. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good Take day. Care. Bye bye. bye, -bye.